Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. New guitar. I would say new guitar day, but I've had this for a few days already and finally got some time to actually do this video. I've been doing so many other things. So I'm going to read you off the website exactly what model this is because I can't remember that stuff off the top of my head. So this is a uh, Jackson JS Series Dinky Arch Top JS 32Q DKAHT. Now it does have an amaranth fingerboard on it. So let's read the rest of it. And it is transparent green. We'll give you a close up of that in a second. So we got 25 and a half inch scale length. We have a popper body with a quilt maple top, which gives us this beautiful green finish. Whoa, is that ever sick? Woo! I love it. There's our backside. Even for an under $400 guitar in Canada, Jackson really puts a lot of time, effort, and quality into putting their guitars together. I mean, they do amazing work. Even on their lower end stuff, it's like having a pro level guitar for without the pro price. Um, anyways, so we do have a bolt-on maple neck as well with a graphite reinforcement and scarf joint. Uh, 12 by 16 inch compound radius fretboard. Uh, which again we said was amaranth as well 24 they call them jumbo frets I look big to differ I think they're more like medium jumbos not full jumbos there's a difference and these ain't it so these more like a medium jumbo in my opinion but we got 24 of them nonetheless we've got a metal guitar here uh, well for heavy metal hard rock and pretty much anything uh, three position pickup you know so you've got your regular bridge your your both pickups and your neck um, so standard everyday thing, transparent black burst, transparent green burst, transparent purple burst with Jackson pointed six inline uh, black headstock and black hardware. Blah, 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 dome style knobs. So there's nothing for Kevy to mod on this guitar, like nothing. It's like, oh, come on, it's got to be something you can mod. Nope. It's perfect the way it is. And this thing comes with 942 as far as the strings go. Now, I'm not that great at playing right-handed guitar yet, and I haven't had any real time to even play in the past few days, let alone in, in quite a while off and on even. So I am going to get more and more into this. But I also wanted something that would really super inspire me to want to play right-handed more. Because um, <coughs> I am a lefty player, as you guys all know by nature. That's me. I'm a lefty. Um, being able to play both ways is something that's a rarity. Um, there's very few people in the world that can actually do it. Um, but if you set your mind to it, I think that anybody who plays really professionally well as, a, as one direction could actually play the other direction as well. Um, but then again, sometimes no. Most times no. It's either one way or the other, right? And I'm the kind of person that I don't take no for an answer. If I'm, if I'm going to find a way to do something, I'm going to do it, right? But back in the day, I always found it so much easier for me to play left-handed. So that's the way I went, right? Um, and now I'm kind of both ways, left and right-handed, because this way I also get all the choices. Like, I can't get this in a left-handed version exactly like this unless I could really sweet talk Jackson into doing it. And for that, they might actually charge extra. Hmm, I don't know. But generally, they don't charge extra left or right. But they don't do that many left-handed models compared to the right. And that's the problem we do have with many manufacturers, except, of course, for companies like Taylor, Martin, Gibson. They'll make all their stuff left or right-handed, no extra cost, right? It's too bad Epiphone doesn't get on that bandwagon. I'd be buying a lot more left-handed guitars. Um, anyways, so I'm not that great, so, you know, don't worry about it. Just need to take it easy on me a little. Uh, but I'm going to do my best. I do have a 0.38 millimeter pick though, which uh, I highly recommend if you're a noob uh, guitar player. It makes it a lot easier for strumming than anything else. Oh, wrong chord. I still have a problem with my A's. Especially 
actually the regular A. It's a little bit harder for me. Anyways, let's try both positions, both pickups. See what we can do for bar chords. I'm still trying to get my uh, my feet on the whole bar chords. I'm doing this right-handed, so I'm going in opposite direction. I'm going this way, and I'm used to going that way, and you know, it's all a different thing, right? Um, I can only take so much clean in one shot. <laughs> All right. scales and stuff and it's, not, it's different guitar I love that burst that is like way too sick you know like I I personally love it you know uh, teach their own though but uh, this definitely inspired me to want to pick up the electric more for right-handed I mean I can just sit here you know cross my one leg and just you know not do that obviously but we'll go to clean um, I can just I can just sit here and just you know noodle around and
another one of the reasons why I, I enjoy the challenge of playing right-handed guitar um, is the simple fact that there, there are rhythmic things I can do right-handed that I absolutely cannot do lefty. I've been trying and it doesn't work. Um, so for that reason, I, I have that you know, desire as well to play right-handed because it gives me that ability to do stuff that I can't do left-handed. Um, you know, but uh, it could be just my lack of interest in wanting to fight through it, but if I can do something easier one way than another, I tend to take the easy route. Um, in this case, there's stuff I can do rhythmically pretty easy on this that I want to be able to do, so I just take the easy road. You know, just why not? Besides, this why I get all the choices out there for guitars. You know, it's so nice to walk into Law McQuaid and it's like, oh, well, um, now I can walk, look at 300 guitars on the wall and I can take any one of those I want, you know? And that is kind of nice, you know? Not that I would do something like that because, you know, some of them are really friggin' expensive, but I have the ability, you know, I have the, I have the, you know, I, I can actually say that, you know, I can grab that one and take it off the shelf and play it. And if I like it enough uh, and I can afford it, I'll buy it type of thing, right? It's, it's not a matter of going to the back row where there's like maybe five or six lefties hanging there going, own it, own it, own it, owned it, didn't really like it, rented it, didn't like it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So now I'm kind of like, ooh, I like you, I like you, oh, I really like you. And that's why this came home, because I really like you, this one. Out of, out of all the righties that they had, um, you know, this is something that was A, affordable, but B, that I also really liked. Because one thing I'm not willing to do yet is spend big money on a right-handed guitar until I feel that my skill level is good enough to go and do something like that, you know. And uh, so I, I kind of take it that way. But um, yeah, I, I do. I, I love this thing, and I'm sure I'll have it for years. Um, I don't see any reason why not. And it sounds good whether it's going through my Marshall amp or my Hoogs and Kettner amp. Um, you know, I've also got a little tiny orange mini amp kind of thing. There's uh, one or two other amps I wouldn't mind getting my hands on, um, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, this thing, it, it's nice. So if you want to play like hard rock, soft rock, heavy metal, you know, your grungy stuff, whatever, punk, um, this thing can more than handle it, especially with the dual radius fretboard. That really makes a difference, you know, l lacing in and doing some, you know, really high beds and stuff. Um, the Jackson pickups in this are, are really incredible. Uh, plus, you have a lot of range in the volume and in the tone, you know, and it and it's 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 subtle, but it's very present at the same time. So you know, if you move this a little bit, you can hear that difference. If you move this a little bit, you can hear that difference. A lot of guitars just are not that sensitive, and these are, and that is fantastic. Uh, so they did an awesome job on this entire beast. Um, and I do like the string through body, and I love the fact that there's no whammy bar to worry about messing with, because that's one thing I didn't want in a righty was a whammy bar right away. You know, trying to keep a whammy system in tune on a lefty um, is enough. And for some of you righties, you'll agree that, you know, whammy bars can sometimes be a real nuisance, especially if it's a full floater. So we all tend to deck our, our bridges so we can go down but not go, you know, back up again, right? Um, just because of that tuning issue, you know, even with lockers, it sometimes doesn't make a difference. But uh, I think that, you know, if this is something you're looking for and this is, you know, your budget range, I mean, this is only 380 bucks Canadian, which is a really sick deal. Um, they do have other models too, you know, and different prices. Just go to your local Long McQuaid, um, you know, or if you're in Canada, of course, uh, go online to their website, you know. And, you know, if you do live in Canada, of course, obviously, you're going to be able to order it from them and have it shipped to you. Um, if you're not in Canada, well, you know, you got Guitar Center and 5 million other music stores too. Um, and there are other stores too that do carry uh, Jackson guitars even in Canada. But I, I, I like to promote Long McQuaid. Um, because for one, you can get renewable warranties uh, on gear, um, you know, which is great. And you can keep renewing that warranty every year until, you know, the day you die. So it's basically a 99 renewable thing uh, for 99 years. Um, but, um, and, and it does cover you, especially if you need fret work. Fret work is automatically covered under that warranty, which is fantastic, um, you know. But um, 
uh, and they go above and beyond with their Long McQuaid warranties. So that's another reason why I, I like to, to promote them. Other than they got great prices and great financing plans. We do get Gibson month once a year, every year in April. You know, I'm getting three of them this year. Not three Gibsons, mind you, but they're all made. Uh, well, they're all owned by Gibson, of course, the, the, the ones I'm getting. Um, but uh, And it's very affordable for three-year financing. You know, and they got Fender month coming up, I believe, in the fall. Um, you know, and then we have our Taylor month as well that happens. And it's great. It's fantastic. I love Long McQuaid. Um, they're great. Anyways, in the meantime, go get yourself one of these if you're interested. Uh, check the link in the video description below. Uh, it'll be there for this particular model. But feel free to browse through their entire website of all their guitars and see what they got kicking around. Um, but anyways, that's it. That's what I got for you. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.